Hi, it's Mr. Butts. Um, so we are working on, um, we started last week, we are working on a Durer um, Rhino pattern painting. Okay, so that's kind of look, see what it looks like there. Okay, so it does not, it, you can paint it any way you want. Okay, just like you were to do your um, patterns any way you want. Um, and so let me just show you the process a little bit. Okay, so we have um, those are two variations there, okay? And so today we're going to do the watercolor part. Um, last week we did our... Let me just show you over here. Um, okay, so we did our, um, our Rhino drawing with crayon or um, oil pastels, black oil pastels. And um, the first video we went over how to draw the rhino and how to add the patterns and the sections and stuff like that, okay? And so what we want to do today, we want to work with watercolors or you can use with um, crayons or colored pencils, okay? So um, any way you want, okay? So you can look at this video and see how I color it with um, watercolors, okay? I'm using, um, okay, this is my other set. I'll show you what set I'm going to use today for you guys. It's this, um, um, regular praying, um, you know, um, simple watercolor set, okay? You can get them at, like, Target or Walmart, um, you know, at, uh, Ben Franklin. You can get them at stores like that, okay? Alright, so first off, to get started, let me just show you over here. Okay, so we did, <coughs> we divided our rhino up into sections. Okay, so each section has a color and a pattern. Okay, so to distinct the different sections, we want to change the colors up. Okay, and and you can make it, you can paint it any way you like. Okay, I'm gonna follow this one here, um, just so um, so you get an idea of um, of how you can use different colors to separate it. Okay, and so we want to use our primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. Okay, and our secondary colors which are green, violet, and there's no orange here, okay? But orange would be the other secondary color, okay? Um, so I wanted you to practice. With the paints, you have um, all, the, all the paints that you would need over here. But, but for a rule, I would say um, you always want to mix them over here so you can control the, um, the amount of color in the paints and also the amount of water. Because the more water you have, the lighter the color is going to be. And the more paint you have, the darker the color is going to be. Okay, the brighter, brighter the color. All right, so we are going to start, I'm going to start with um, probably a medium brush. Probably this brush over here, okay? It's not small, not as small. So the bigger the brush, the more paint it holds. Okay, and I'm going to use this kind of this color brush or this size because I want to hold a little bit more paint because some of these are kind of bigger areas. Okay, so we are going to put it in the water. Okay, I'll show you the water over here. So we put it in the water. Okay, and then we we want to get all our paints wet. So you do water, paint, rinse out your brush, water, paint, rinse off your brush. Water, paint, rinse off your brush. Water, paint, rinse off your brush. Whoops, this one has a little speck in there. Okay. Water, paint, rinse off your brush. And just like this. Okay. And then you have these all ready to go. Okay. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting these shapes. Okay. So I have some of these colors in here already. This is from before I was using these. So we are going to start with green. So do a little paint, a little bit of water, okay? And I'm going to do this paint, um, this green. And so you, what you want to do is start off in one area and pull the paint across the page, okay? And you you want to just kind of go over it just once, okay? And then the oil pastels won't be affected because they're made out of oil and oil and watercolors don't mix, okay? 
Okay, we're gonna do this green, we're gonna do this horn green. Over here, just like that. Okay. And then we're gonna do his ears green. Okay, and see how I'm holding the brush too? If you hold it back here, you actually have pretty good control. Okay, and you wanna just do is just use the bristles of the of the brush. Alright, so to clean out a to clean out a color over here, okay, you wanna take um, put some water in there and get some Get a paper towel, okay, paper towel, and then you can just kind of wipe it off there. Okay, we had some black in here, we're gonna, this is when I did the toucan paintings. See how you get it nice and wet, and then just take some paper towels and just wipe it off here, okay. So you want to clean out these little bays on your palette so you don't get black mixing in with your bright colors, okay? All right, so now we're gonna do purple. We're gonna do purple in this big one. Okay, we're gonna mix purple. We're gonna mix red in this one. Whoops, we have red there actually. Okay, so then we're gonna do purple. Here we're gonna do purple over on this one. Okay, so now you wanna you wanna make care um, be real careful that you stay within your shape because if you have a wet color like I had the green, um, the purple would mix in there if it's wet. Okay, they kind of all bleed together because water water is called a vehicle for the paint and the vehicle makes the paint move just like a car is a vehicle and makes us move. The water is a vehicle that makes the paint move. So if you had if you had two white colors next to each other, they'll blend together. Okay, and then we're gonna do the head. So when you do the head, go round the eye. You can see I'm pulling the paint, pulling it right across the surface. Just like this. All right, and then I think we got some toes, toes over here, purple, couple purple toes. All right, and then with red, okay, I'm gonna do a red background, so I'm gonna use my red for the background. So I'm gonna make a nice bright orange. Okay, so I'm gonna clean out this bay of the palette. Okay, and then you can also and we do a nice bright orange. I might do a little yellow in here. Maybe a bright orange here. Okay, and then so everywhere where there's red, we're gonna do we're gonna do yep, we're gonna do orange over here. And you want to just just a tip. over here and then we're going to do orange over here All right, just like this Some, do orange over on this leg. See how I'm like going around the toes? Because the toes are going to be a different color. And we're going to do a bright, here we're going to make a bright yellow orange horn over here. Just like this. Okay. Next color, <clears throat> we have, we're gonna do blue. 
And so you'll see this blue green over here. I'm just going to flood it with some regular blue. Just like this. Okay, and then we have this blue going right over here. See how I'm holding the brush? I'm holding it back because I'm, I want to let the bristles of the brush do all the painting. It's not quite like a pencil. It's really soft. Okay, as so we have that, we're going to do a blue tail. And then we're going to do blue nails on this guy over here. Okay. And then we have yellow. Before we do yellow, I'm going to do orange on this toe, these toes over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this orange, and we're going to replace it with yellow. So I'm going to take this, wipe it out with a paper towel. Just some nice, like that. Okay. And then we are going to take our yellow. Whoops. It keeps splatting all over the paint, the paper. Okay, and then we can do yellow over here. Yellow. Yellow. Oops. See what happens? So I got some blue in there. That's why these um, oil pastels or crayons make a good border. So the yellow stays where the yellow needs to be, and the blue stays where the blue needs to be. And we are just going to go right across like that, pulling it across the page. All right, one more, and then we're going to do the background. All right, there we go. Okay, so when we do the red, we need a lot of red, okay, because we're going to do, I'm going to do red for the background, so we're going to need a lot of red. So I'm going to fill this little guy with red. This little section over here. Okay, and then so here you want to start off in one area and just pull the paint across the page. Okay, and then this I'm going to use a bigger brush. Okay, I'm going to use this brush over here because we have a big area. All right, and then it kind of loads up with paint. Okay. So I'm going to start up here in the corner, and so I want to just get it started here, and you pull the paint across, go around the objects. Like this. And then I'm going to pull this down here, see how we have the section on the top and I'm just going to go just the section this section and then let that dry and then go right around very carefully go right around the ears and the back see we have a nice broad black line so it makes it easier when you do this kind of stuff because you don't have to go all the way to the green paint you can just go right up against the black line and it makes it easier Okay, just like this. See? And what happens is the paint all merges together and dries together as one big huge color. Okay, and you don't have all these brush strokes. See this how see how it went in the direction of the leg right there? And then we just want to pull pull all these across the page. See, so I'm going this way, I'm going that way, and I'm going down. Down here and across. 
keep going. More paint, and so you want to keep it. You want to keep the paint going too. See how I'm keep adding to my little palette. That's what you have to do. Okay, and then you go up, and you kind of end where you started. Over here, just like this. All right, and that's it. And then we have our. We have our rhino all painted nicely, okay? So go ahead and do your paintings. Take a picture of them with your phones or iPads or whatever and upload them to Seesaw so we can all see the beautiful work that you do. And we'll see you next week. Thanks, bye.